So as you can see, developing code inside the IDE using uh, a generative AI assistant like Copilot is a very different experience to generating code with a tool like ChatGPT. With ChatGPT, you have a conversation, you say what you want, and the generative AI system responds. If you like that suggestion, you have to copy paste all that code into your IDE, and then you can proceed further. In contrast, a tool like GitHub Copilot works in your IDE, and I feel, as a programmer, much more in control. If I don't like a suggestion, I can quickly change something and I get a fresh suggestion. I don't have to switch from my IDE to a web browser where I'm accessing the ChatGPT website and then come back to my IDE and continue. I can stay in the flow in my IDE. My thought processes are more uh, flowing when I'm using my uh, generative AI assistant within my IDE. So for this reason, I would strongly encourage you to consider using a setup similar to what I have shown you here. For the purposes of this course, if you cannot install the tools shown here, there is no problem. You can still leverage the power of generative AI using uh, a web-based resource such as ChatGPT. But I would really like you to explore what it feels like to use generative AI within an IDE. Many of you might be considering future job roles as professional software developers. And using the types of tools that professional software developers use, starting to get familiar with those tools uh, right from the early steps in your journey will help you.